look at this Disney jumper, everyone. I'm obsessed. Hi, everyone. <laughs> oh, no, I know why. Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. Welcome to a new home vlog. We're not Disney anymore. We're not. Start by saying we've got some good news and some bad news. We have bad news. The bad news is <laughs> the Disney vlogs. Oh. They're over. The good news is the home vlogs are back and we're back in real time. It's so good to speak to you guys. It's literally been three months since I picked a camera up, which is insane. I actually can't believe it's been that long, but I have been putting all of my heart and soul into editing the Disney vlogs for those last three months. I haven't seen her for three <clears throat> months. Yeah, literally. Editing non-stop. After work, weekends, we've been editing the Disney vlogs. So I'm really, really sad that that has come to an end because it sort of felt like I was reliving the trip through the vlogs so it didn't feel like it was quite over yet like I wasn't ready for the dust to settle after Disney now obviously they're over so we're back to filming home content for you guys we thought we'd sit down at the start of this vlog and just do like a little Disney debrief because it didn't feel right to end the Disney vlogs and not really do like a real-time update I think it's pretty obvious we thought it was incredible mm. absolutely loved every second we talk about it daily we talk about it all the time like we're always like oh imagine if we were on Main Street right now you say that yeah I you, say, you'll it. Like, you say it too that. you'll be like oh imagine if we were just getting this like we'll be having popcorn for a snack and then it's like imagine if we were just getting the popcorn and Street. I'm definitely more like the food side, like we'll be eating something like, oh this would be better if it was Disney food. Yeah, well everything's <laughs> always better at Disney anyway. Right, I've got a question to ask. I'm, got, I'm not prepared for any answers or anything, so... So, um, what was your favourite thing we did on the holiday? Favourite thing we did? This, I mean, it's tough, but I think one of the few favourite things I did, I really enjoyed Olga's Cantina. I thought mm. that was a really good experience <laughs> and I'd say if you haven't gone, or if you've been and you've not done it, just do it because it's really good. Yeah, it was like, amazing. Massive Star Wars fan, so for me I was like just in my element big time. Yeah. I think Rise, it's all going to be Star Wars stuff. Rise of Resistance was amazing for me. So yeah. basically Galaxy's Edge. Galaxy's Edge, yeah. We'll just say Galaxy's Edge was really good. Firm favourite. What about you? What was your favourite thing we did? My favourite thing we did was Halloween Horror Nights. Mm. Absolutely tip yeah. top. Absolutely loved it. have literally been in like a horror night spiral since like just watching horror nights vlogs and just reliving the Keeping experience. Keeping them on social, seeing if they're announcing houses. Yes, I'm so they ready haven't. for them to announce a house. Last year they announced Chucky House like straight after the end of the last year's, or of the year before's horror nights. <laughs> yeah, so then we yeah. knew a house like straight away before we even booked the tickets but now we're just like what's it going to be next year? Mm. We're excited. Another one of my favourite things that we did was, it's going to be Halloween related, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween yeah. Party. I know that is like an, a ticketed event and it was like quite expensive to get in from what I remember. It was 150 per ticket or 200 per ticket. Mm. Something it, like crazy, but it was worth every single penny. We absolutely loved it. It was so good. Mm. I, I do think in terms of like Halloween events and how good they are, <laughs> obviously they're, they're like tailored for like different people. Disney's is more for like kids and families. Horror Nights is more towards like adults and like friends, like groups of friends. But I do think they're both expensive, but you can get Disney's done all in one night if you really wanted to. So you don't have to spend so much money and think, oh, I'm going to miss out because we're not going to get everything done. Yeah. You can buy the one ticket and get everything done in one night, which Agreed. is a good thing, I think. Yeah, I think so too. But you know me, like if you know me on the channel, you'll know I love Halloween. It's like the time of year that I thrive. So anything Halloween related was like the maker of the trip for me is the whole reason we went in October and it was 100% worth it. We would go in October again. We would. We would go again in October. <laughs> Do you know what was banging? What? The Disney transport. It was amazing. Yeah, this trip was our first time staying in a Disney property hotel. So we didn't have the Disney buses before to get to the parks. No. So it was amazing. Amazing. We were way better than we expected. We expected mm -hmm. to be like queuing for buses and stuff. And we'd sort of like plan that into the trip. We were just thinking like, okay, we we're going to accommodate just have to for do time it. For just waiting around and yeah, and you don't, you no, don't wait. It was absolutely amazing. I think, I think the longest we'd waited was when we went to the cinema at Disney Springs. Was it 10, 11 o'clock ish or whatever? And after Mickey's not so scary we did have to wait but apart from that incredible and even yeah. then it wasn't a long wait what's one food item that you think about on a daily basis oh, main street fudge what? don't even finish the question main street fudge <laughs> yeah the main street fudge mm. we did enjoy that that was very very good yeah. i was surprised by the gaston cinnamon is it a cinnamon roll? what is it yeah cinnamon roll cinnamon roll so good. yeah I think my favourite thing we ate was probably at yeah, the Disney popcorn on Main Street. Mm, that was incredible. That was good. Incredible. And Blaze Pizza. Oh yeah, Blaze was amazing. Absolutely it was, love. 
I'd never been before, but it was everything. So yeah, we are very, very sad that the trip has come to an end. Obviously, there's gonna be more Disney content coming on this channel at some point. We do know when, but we're gonna leave you guys in suspense a little bit on that one. That was the Disney debrief. What we're gonna do now? You wanna go to Starbucks? Yeah, we've not had any breakfast, so I really, I feel like a coffee is needed. Look. He's just chilling. Look at him in the camera. Oh, he's so cute. We're gonna go to Starbucks, get a coffee. I've not had a coffee yet. Yeah, we'll see where the day takes us. But it's coffee time, I need coffee. And I might get like a little snack to remind me of Disney. Seeing as we're like doing a Disney thing, we've got the Disney jumper, Disney debrief, Starbucks with a Disney-esque snack. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna show you guys what I bought at Disney in this vlog. Like, not everything, because obviously some of the things we ate that we bought yeah, back. some of the things aren't here anymore. But I can definitely show you the Disney merch that I purchased, rather than doing like a whole haul, because there wasn't that much. So I'll just take you around the house and show you during this vlog. Anyway, coffee, 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 coffee. I need caffeine. Okay, the Uggs are on. I'm ready to go. <laughs> you limp rolling. <laughs> limp rolling break. We're on the road, we're heading down to Starbucks. So, age old question. Let me know your Starbucks order. I always go for exactly the same thing at Starbucks. I'm never adventurous, like always the same. Iced latte with sugar-free vanilla. Absolutely love the sugar-free vanilla syrup at Starbucks. It tastes incredible, love it. And I don't really like sugary drinks, so fun fact. But what do you guys order? Jay always goes for a hot chocolate, or sometimes you go for the caramel frappuccino. Mm -hmm. Cause he's not a coffee drinker or tea or anything, so he just goes for something a little sweet. I got a little sweet treat. That's fine, hot chocolate is amazing. And then in terms of like this, like pastries and everything, we never really get any of those, do we? No. But I think today we're going to because we've not had any breakfast and I'm like hungry and in the mood for something like nice. So seeing as it's Saturday, why not? Let's treat ourselves. Also, it's the first time that it has been warm enough to not wear a coat in the car, which, do you know, it feels like it could, summer could be coming. Summer could be coming. <laughs> but mm, the jury's out on that one, we'll see. So if you guys weren't aware yet, they have started doing the cake pops in Starbucks in the UK now. So I'm gonna get my little Disney fix and we've both got a cake pop. I wasn't gonna get one, but then I, I, it was a surprise. George was like, I want the cake pop. I was like, I want a cake pop too. Yeah, you were so, like, make that too. Make that too. <laughs> it's purchase. Oh, absolutely love. Chin chin. Cheers. Is it gonna take us back to Florida? Mm, that's good. Mm. I think the ones in America are a little bit different. Yeah. But. That's good though. No still complaints, no notes. Incredible. Drink time. Way ahead of you. How is it? Good, it's gonna go right through. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Cow's <Yeah>. milk problems. <laughs> it's good though. Why do birds? Oh. It's so good. I wish we had a more scenic view, you know. You can't see what we're looking at, but it's not worth turning you around to see. It's, it's just... a main road. It's a main road. <laughs> but that's fine. Some people get a Starbucks, drive to the beach, look out on the beach, chill. Main road's fine with us. Anyway, we're going to drink this. Then we're going to get on the road to Sainsbury's because we just need to pick up a little couple of things. We think we're going to have a movie night later, so we might pick out some snacks. Ooh. I really want to play Overcooked later. <sighs> you always want to play Overcooked. I know. Does anyone else's... Like, couples specifically, do you play Overcooked together? And if so, how do you... Deal with the stress and the <laughs> arguments. How do you navigate that situation? Because I always want to play Overcooked. We don't argue while we play it. It stresses me out. It just stresses us out, like, a lot. I love playing it, though, because I love the stress. I'm like, go on, get that hamburger. Yes, chef. Like, yes, chef. Like, you're an idiot sandwich. <laughs> Need flour. <laughs> It's raw! <laughs> so I'm thinking I want to play Overcooked later, have a little games night, have a little movie night, have some snacks. Love those Saturdays. I always like to choose one day of the week where we just rot on the sofa and I feel like today will be a good day for that. Epic sound songs. <laughs> yeah. Yellow, yellow. It hurts like yellow, yellow. Dad's character always looked like he's just 
just had enough. Yeah, he does. He's like, shut up, Lily. Yeah. Okay. It's time to pick some snacks for the movie night. <laughs> this Easter egg, Jay had it last year and it's so good. It's going to be my Easter egg this year as well. Like it, it's too early just yet, but it's going to be the Easter egg. Soon come. This mug's so cute. Oh, pet bow tie for Valentine's. They have some really cute stuff in here for Valentine's. <gasps> Look at these. Oh, absolutely love. Got home, so I thought I would do you a little haul of all the noteworthy things that we picked up. We did just end up going to Starbucks and then Sainsbury's and then we drove home, but somehow we've been out for two hours. I don't know how. Time flies. <laughs> yeah. So the first things we picked up were little snacks for our movie game night and we ended up picking up Dino Mix, which these sweets are really, really good. They do snakes as well, but the Dino ones are like so good. Also picked up some Mallow and Marsh marshmallows. These ones are really good. They're just raspberry marshmallows, but then they have a dark chocolate coating. Chef's kiss, so nice. We also picked up these little tapered candles. They're not tapered actually. No, they are dinner candles in the Valentine's section, which are so cute. They just have little hearts on them. And I do have an idea of where I want these to go. So I'll show you where I'm gonna put them. Actually, I'm gonna show you. So we go this way towards the shelving unit. They're gonna go here. So I have these candle stick holders here, but they're actually broken. I made these from clay during the pandemic and they're really, really rubbish. So they're broken. They've always held these candles here, but I thought, imagine, little pop of pink. And then I think I'm gonna get some green candlestick holders. Very good. Cute, right? Sure. You see, you weren't convinced, but I think they're gonna look really cute. And I'm a sucker for anything colourful and pink. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Nero. Oh, that stinks. Nero. He's just farted. It smells so. Jay also ended up treating me to three books from the shop. He says it was my Valentine's present. Because Valentine's Day is on Wednesday, by the way. So he treated me to three books, so I'll show you what they are. He's just going to put away all the boring groceries. But these books are the ones that he bought me. So he's got me That's Not My Name by Megan Lally. This sounded really, really good. The cover drew me straight away. Like, I don't really... Didn't really know what it was about, but it says it was a mistake to trust him. Shivering and bruised, a teen wakes up on the side of a dirt road with no memory of how she got there or who she is. Police don't know where she came from until a frantic man arrives at the station. He's been searching for her for hours. He has her school ID, her birth certificate, and even family photos. Here's her father. Her name is Mary, or so he says. That sounds really good. Sounds like a good thriller. It's not too long. I feel like this book is going to get me out of, like, if I ever get into a reading slump, this would be a great one to get me out of it. And I'm already, like, I kind of want to read this one straight away. The next one that he bought me, which I instantly picked up, you saw me pick it up. Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. This is like a TikTok sensation book, but it's supposed to be a really, really spicy. So I'm excited. Spicy. To I love a spicy book, and this is supposed to be like really. What well, in this house? Supposed to be sizzling. Spicy reading material. Last but not least, I follow a YouTuber on here who's obsessed with this book and I've wanted to pick it up for ages. I'm kind of on a fantasy hype at the moment. I read Fourth Wing and I'm Flame, which sort of got me into it. And then I'm really interested in reading Akatar as well. I know that some books that are really, really big in the fantasy genre. Powerless by Lauren Roberts. Had to pick this one up. It looks so, so good. The blurb doesn't give much away on this one, but I've heard it's really, really amazing and there's a really good romance. I think it's a fantasy romance. So it's hunted, hunter, destined for each other. And the cover, again, absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna put these away now. Oh, one more thing that I did get, which are actually balanced on right now. So I'm gonna like grab the camera, but this is probably the best purchase of the whole thing. 20 sachets of golden syrup Quakers. My favorite. I have this for breakfast every single day and I am an oat girly now. I hated oats my entire life pretty much. This is a boring story, but it's one of those, it's like kind of like the same with sparkling water. If you remember me saying in the vlog, hated oats my entire life. One day just woke up craving them and now I just eat them every single day. I think I'm really weird for that. I don't know if that happens to anyone else, but got 20 sachets of it. And this box is massive. It's literally the size my head. 
So, the book that I've been reading recently, well, to be honest, I was reading it for the entirety of January because it is a doorstop book. However, I was reading, oh, it's heavy to even move, The Passage by Justin Cronin. This is 800 pages. It's a huge book, but it's basically about the, it's kind of like a zombie apocalypse vibe, but it's vampires. So it's about like how it all started and then it follows this girl called Amy who, I don't want to spoil too much, but basically it just follows her story. And yeah, there's lots of different characters that you get to know along the way. Half of the, like halfway through the book, it kind of like changed and all the characters changed, which sort of threw me. But I really did enjoy it. It was a great read for January. It's pretty much all I read. I did read one other book, which I'll show you in a minute, but this is part of a three part story. So I think there's the passage, the 12, and then I can't remember what the last one's called, but yeah, it's like a trilogy. And I think the next one is, yeah, it's definitely called The Twelve. So I think that's what I'm going to be reading at some point. But my dad lent me this. He was like, you have to read it. You're going to love it. And I really did. It was really good. After reading Iron Flame and then this, I'm on a fantasy binge. But also I feel like I've read a lot of thick books recently. So I'm kind of ready for something a little bit easier to read. I'll show you what I went for after this. Because I was sort of like read out at that point And I just want something really easy. So I'll just show you what I did end up picking up. Which is in the other room. So we'll go back this way. So after that I ended up reading this one. My roommate is a vampire. Which they actually did treat me to this one ages ago at Tesco. And I just thought I'd pick it up. It's like a 300 page little book. And it's about a girl who moves in with a guy who's a little bit weird like he acts like he's not been around for the last hundred years and as you can probably tell from the title he is a vampire to be honest i didn't really rate this one that much it was kind of i don't know i just didn't really like the romance in this one the guy i just like to be honest i didn't really get it like he wasn't i don't know he just wasn't it do you know what i mean i don't know whether i'd recommend this book actually but it was a quick read after the passage which was needed it was needed because i was going to go in a reading slump if i didn't read something small i am trying to be on a tiny little bit of a book buying ban like tiny tiny those ones downstairs didn't count because jay got them for me but in terms of like myself i'm really really trying not to buy new books because obviously however it is difficult there's just so many books coming out that I want to buy. Would you guys be interested for me to talk in a vlog about books that I'm excited to come out in 2024? Because I have so many that I want to read. A lot of my favourite authors are bringing books out this year, which obviously is so exciting, but means that I've, I've got to read them. We've been chilling for a little while, and now it is time to catch up on last night's Love Island. Is anyone else watching this? I have been binging it because I've missed loads of weeks, but I'm going to catch up on yesterday's. I love it. <laughs> you good boy? Me? <laughs> what are you wagging your tail for? Oh. Just thought I'd come in here and talk Love Island a little bit. Any of you guys watching it? Because, yeah, I think the person, basically, I watched Friday Nights just now, and I think the person that got dumped from the villa at the end, it was like 100% warranted. I feel like it was his time to leave, and I'm not going to spoil who it was, but if you know, you know if you've watched it. Are any of you guys watching it? I didn't really get into it at first but because it's all stars and it's like people that we've seen before it sort of like grew on me and then I ended up just binging it when Jay was out last week and I'm really really into it now I really want either Anton and Georgia H to win who I love they're so cute together and I'm just so happy like I really wanted Anton to find someone and yeah it was just so cute and I also really like Molly and Tom. Molly surprised me actually, but she's so mature and just the way she handles like situations in the villa and stuff is just top notch. And also she's like around my age. So yeah, I just like her. And then obviously she's coupled up with Tom at the minute who they're getting on really, really well. And yeah, I just love them. They're really cute. So if Molly or Tom won or Anton and Georgia H, I would be happy. So who are your favorite couples if you're watching it? I mean, I feel like those two are the only couples that I'm really like invested in, whereas the rest, I'm just a bit like, I don't know, it could go either way, but we shall see. Anyway, gonna chill for a couple more hours and then gonna get some dinner. We having like our little Valentine's night in tonight because Valentine's is like on a weekday and we don't really do Valentine's so we're just sort of like spending the weekend together this weekend and then we have like a couple of busy weekends coming up after that. So this is like our last weekend at home together for a little while. So we decided, yeah, we're gonna do like a little Valentine's movie night and games night and everything. Gonna have some dinner, but I'll catch up with you when we decide what we're gonna have. 
because we're still umming and ahhing about it. No umming and ahhing. <laughs> yeah, you know what it's like. Sometimes you just don't know what you want. I will update you when we decide. Can't remember if I showed you yet, but I have this whole setup now where <laughs> I bought a side table from H&M. It's like this metal green one and it's basically like really useful because I can put my laptop underneath and it just keeps everything so much more clean and tidy because yeah, I was just like stacking everything on top of the old side table and it was not a good look. I also have this little lamp on here that I've had in the spare room for ages, but I really, really want a different lamp because that one blinds you because there's no lampshade, so it's really, really blind. Finding. So if anyone has any recommendations for a good little table lamp for there that's nice and has off a nice light, let me know. Loving this so far. Although we did have an absolute nightmare with the legs, Never didn't we? Furniture from H&M. Yeah. The three of them fit perfectly, but because it was a screw thread, one of them didn't fit properly, so it just kind of wobbled. Was that it? Yeah, like yeah. the legs didn't fit properly, so I naturally ended up getting the super glue out, and one of the legs is super glued on. But that's fine. They did give me a little discount, so it was okay. <laughs> so it's a little while later, and I'm about to go upstairs and take my makeup off, but I forgot that I did promise you guys that I would show you what I got at Disney World. Do a little haul slash run around the house and just show you everything that we picked up while we were there. I'll try and remember everything because it has been three months since we got back and I've pretty much unpacked it all straight away. We'll start in the kitchen because I know I definitely have a few things in there. I did end up getting some good stuff at Disney World to be honest. I'm really, really happy with what I purchased. I don't feel like I went overboard, but I definitely got some nice bits. And I'm sure some of these things will definitely still be there by the way. If you are going to Disney World soon, have a look out for some of these things if you do like them because I'm pretty sure they'll be there. Hang on. So this jumper is obviously the first thing that I purchased. It's the Walt Disney World blue jumper. This also came in grey and white but I just loved this powder blue. I thought it was so so lovely. That's one of my favourite things that I purchased. I think, although I did try this on in the shop. I got this in Hollywood Studios and I tried it on in the shop and I was wearing a black tank and the fluff from underneath went all over my top so Jay had to stand there like trying to get it off for about five minutes after I tried it on but worth it I've not had any problems with it since and yeah definitely one of the best things that I saw in the parks it's just very classic and timeless and probably one of those things that I will keep forever anyway let's go into the kitchen and have a little look in there because there's definitely some goodies in there so first things first I'm going to bring you over to the magnets I think we only got one no two the whole time we were there so the first one that we got was this Halloween Horror Nights one that's got all of the different villains on from the houses we really wanted to bring a magnet back so that was great we also could not resist this one we got this at this shop in do you know the shop in disney springs that sells all the dog things we saw this on the little turning board and we could not resist it says sweet baby tricks for treats cookie co so we thought we went with a halloween theme a little bit too so that was really good jay also purchased me this mickey with a pumpkin it's like one of those ones that's drawn by like Disney artists and stuff. So we went into the part of Disney store and basically this was in there. Like, you know, they're all there and you can flick through them and stuff. This was in there and I absolutely loved it, but we walked away <laughs> because we were like, we don't know where we're going to put it. However, Jay then said, do you know what, I'll treat you to it. So he very kindly bought me this one and I'm obsessed. It's by a woman called Monica Willis. And on the back of it actually tells you a little bit about the artist, which I loved. And I just love that it's like a one of a kind. Obsessed. One of my, in fact, I think that's the favorite thing that I bought the whole time. Then I didn't get any mugs on this trip because I have enough, but I did get this Lizzie McGuire cup. Could not resist, it's amazing. Lizzie McGuire is one of my favorite Disney Channel shows from when I was a child, and I just thought it would be so funny to have this little cup. Although, I haven't used it yet, but I feel like I'm scared to use it because it's so nice, I just don't want to ruin it. Heading upstairs. The next thing that I got while I was out there is Little Pua. Absolutely love, I think you guys might have saw me buy this on the vlog. But I wanted one of these for ages and I couldn't find one on my last trip so he was coming with me as soon as I saw him. And he just sits on our spare bed looking very, very cute indeed. Then I did get a couple of clothing bits, not too many though, but I'll show you what I did get. First thing that I got was this Disney 100 hoodie, which I definitely did show in the vlog. Just has Mickey on the front and then on the back it has all of the characters and Disney 100. I just absolutely love this colour and... Do you know what? It just reminds me of being there because I wore this on the 100th anniversary of the Disney company and it was just really, really nice to be there in Magic Kingdom and it just is such a lovely 
item of clothing to keep, I think. When I was in the mall at Millennia, I went into American Eagle and purchased this little number, which is a jumper with, looks like the Rolling Stones, but it's actually vampire fangs, which I just thought was such a funny take on it. And it like serves Halloween, which is my kind of thing. Love this. And it's so soft as well. I love American Eagle. It is incredible. So if you ever do get a chance to shop in there, do because they have such lovely clothing items. <laughs> Me and Jay also picked up the Black Spirit jerseys. I don't know whose this is. This one's Jay's, but it's just the plain Black Spirit jersey. Absolutely love a Spirit jersey. It's so nice, especially in October because we found that it was a bit colder towards the evening on some days. So just chuck on a Spirit jersey. It was the perfect thickness. I also got two pairs of Mickey as while I was out there. I got the plain black with the Mickey Mouse on the side. So is it just there? And then I also got the pumpkin ones which I can't get over still. They are the coolest thing ever and I'm hoping I'll be able to wear these on a trip very soon in the future. <laughs> They're so cute. I knew I was going to get these like before I even went there. It was a given. Then I did, sorry I've just brought you into the into the bedroom now. Then I did get a couple of t-shirts that I wore out there and some I haven't even had a chance to wear yet because we came back to England and it was already so cold. So I'm excited to wear these in the summer. But the first one that I picked up was this one with just the castle and it says Walt Disney World where dreams come true. And it's one of those massive like oversized numbers that I love to wear with biker shorts when I'm out in Disney World. I also got a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party t-shirt that has the little castle on the front and then on the back it says Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party 2023 and this one also glows in the dark which I thought was really cool. Then you will have seen in the vlogs that we also got the Horror Nights t-shirts with the houses on the back. Absolutely loved wearing this at Horror Nights. We wore it both nights. Me and Jay got matching ones too which was nice. Again in American Eagle I picked up a Halloweeny top that has all these little Halloween characters on it. Love this, it is again super super soft. American Eagle have the softest, nicest clothes ever. Then the last but not least, you might have seen this in the Target video. I got a Twilight t-shirt and it has Edward and Bella. Being real, I'm probably just gonna wear this as a night shirt. I think it was like $10 in Target, but I could not walk away from this. Okay, and last but not least, I did get this big comfy cuddly toy Baymax, which I'm obsessed with. It's one of the cuddlies range and it is so, squidgy and honestly it's so cute like he just smiles at me every night when I'm in bed but I will say I'm a little bit scared to cuddle him because he's white and I don't want to ruin him with makeup or like anything like that so I am a little bit scared to cuddle you but he is honestly so cozy like better than any pillow I've ever had love 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 and I really want to get another one when we go back maybe May May from Turning Red tempted tempted to get you a friend so now it is about time to get some dinner so I'm going to take off this face of makeup. I have a massive spot that I really want to put a spot patch on and we have actually decided that we're going to order dinner tonight which is something that we don't do that often actually so I'm actually really really excited. It's a nice treat for our Valentine's Day date. I feel like wow we've really treated ourselves today but I'm feeling good. This is a good Saturday guys. Makeup off, food ordered. And then I think we're gonna watch a movie. I think Jay wants to watch the Marvels. So we'll see what he says when I go down. Pizza's here. I'm waiting to be allowed to sit down. <laughs> Nero is very, very excited. And we're also going to watch the Marvels. That is our little evening. Please don't stand on it. Please <laughs> don't stand on it. Time to eat. We've got garlic bread, tater tots, and some pizzas. It's a good night in. I'm really, really hungry. Yay. We're in the same position that we were in two hours ago. Did you enjoy the Marvels? It was definitely a Marvel film. Yeah, I can't say I watched most of it. I was like distracted. We're gonna end the vlog here. We had lovely dinner, lovely time watching the film, and we're gonna go and play Nintendo in bed now because what's a better way to end a date night than 
to play Overcooked in bed. I've been waiting all day for this. We've really enjoyed spending the day with you guys. Can't believe the home vlogs are back. It feels good to be honest, to be like more in real time. With that said, I'm gonna end the vlog here. So thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already to see all my future content. Have an amazing day or evening depending on where you are. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>